Welcome boys and girls, now it's Firebase Georgina as an attacking sniper. Yeah, this will take some time, but believe me, as a sniper, you will barely go to E and F. If you want to know why, a lot of times when I play attacker, my team struggles to take B or C. So, and for the locations where I'm sniping, I'm hiding behind those thick trees, 200 meters, sh and shoot everything that moves. That's what I can say. I'm not flanking them, nothing. And I'm not going this close. I'm staying behind and still having a decent amount of clearance. The trees will save you. But still, let's go. Hide between, so attacking A, hind behind trees, and try to take out everything that moves that is not on your side. Okay, let's take this. Wow, pretty fast. I'm drinking a bit of water. Yeah. Now, I'm when I'm attacking B, I'm not going front. As I said, a lot of people don't know how to play a f freaking s saber class or how it's called in on the Americans. I've forgotten it. Literally, nobody throws in fucking smokes. Yeah, point man. That that's the name, and not saber. Uh, that doesn't matter. They don't use smokes, how they should use. So finding a good position, hard, because you're mostly open here, doesn't matter where you hide, you're wide open from the sides, here. You want to take those out, you're open here, that's the problem. That's why I'm moving in bet between those three lines, always just a little bit, searching for, for them, taking out one at a time from the left you could do that from the right but i'm barely doing it because mostly it happens when i'm flanking from the right as a sniper i get overrun by the enemy no one of my are guys off. are there that's why i'm taking left a lot of people are going from the left flank so let's take this and also tentu has shown this i didn't know that even i played this map a lot at this location is a tunnel that brings you directly into C. You can you have a few guns down there, pretty nice, but as a sniper it's not good there. Some of the enemies are waiting for you to come out. Trrr, you're dead. Not bird. Trrr. So back to the point. Now we are attacking C also, through the three lines, everything. You need to know this map. I'm always looking to get to the left side. The right side is very bad. You are too close and too open for them. Here you have at least cover and if they're here up there, shoot them down. Get a bit clo closer to the left to have a better side picture from the side, shoot them. And hope your team is good enough to take C. That's what I can say. Now we're gonna take C. We are taking Charlie. Yeah. So the next point if you're lucky and your team and you take C or even B and then C then it's an easy job. I'm al also be alone in a, in a squad, get a freaking squad tunnel. We have a so squad tunnel somewhere here where it's possible and go find that freaking tree where you can climb it. That's this here. So that's literally in between F5 and F6. 
climb it as fast as possible or wait till there's artillery smoke and other shit happening and ha and don't go up on this part it looks awesome and everything but you see how much you can see that much can can shoot at you back that's why i'm covering the left flank this you need to find a decent positioning you don't need 200 meters or anything 138 take them out they can see you but you you are still good hidden take that out and after damn it okay Shit happens. Good, something like that can happen. Yeah. So that's the my sniping position for D. When you need to take it, and now I'm going to. There is the tree. Also, some enemies like to get up there. Wait, there. When you attack as an American on campaign. So the next one after you took D. Get up here. Depending on the enemies, how they are playing. You will find a lot of people that try to be heroes, whatever. They will be up there. Doesn't matter, those are 450 something cannot target 437 this bunker this is 450 can target it 430 450 and so around 40 400 to 45 uh, 450 meters uh, damn it English and pick them out one after the other set your elevation proper and take them out you can take those guys here out, go back to 300, shoot them. The thing is you get, they can barely see you. It's really hard from those positions to see a guy sniping from, from here at those positions up there. Okay, can I go down there without dying? Doesn't look like it. I will die. What the... Oh, damn it. Wonderful. And other pos if they keep, if you are attacking D and they keep keeping you under fire up there. Snipe from back here. You can snipe them from here. Also, taking cover behind the trees and you can snipe them also up there. That's also another point if I cannot go, if I'm an American and I can't and they cannot go up there because of the fat asses 400 meters and shoot everything here 500 depending on the rifle you're using find a nice spot like here where's not where's less amount of grass and take them out as a sniper then let's continue if you in the position if you're not here sniping and you're with your sniper rifle here close then flank flank around i'm not doing this i'm always staying here and shooting them down making it easier for my guys to advance up there that's my job my job is not running in front of them with a sniper rifle it's to stay behind kill everything that is danger to my guys so i hope this helps you also thanks for Tantu who showed this crap of a hidden place that I never saw because literally I never played as the VC here only as American and you don't you cannot climb up there so that's for now boys and girls I hope you I hope this helped you the next one is uh, the defending guys here see ya